I'm sorry that we have to switch to English for the one next presentation, but I think we can handle it. And um, I'm happy that Mr. Oscar Lopez is here from Palma de Mallorca. Um, just flown in yesterday, right? You came yesterday. And um, is visiting us at the Medica Media for uh, his presentation. And he is, let's say, attacking those global challenges like getting sick if you are traveling. With, on, a, on a global scale with global technologies, especially with Web 2.0 technologies. He is responsible for strategic development, if I'm correct, of a company named MetaTeam. So, I'm happy. Thank you. Please. Thanks a lot. Good tag. Thank you. So, uh, thanks for the opportunity to Medica Media, being here. Uh, as Professor said, I come from Mallorca, a tiny, beautiful island in Spain. And although there's a lot of German people there, it hasn't helped very much to my German. So I will, I will do my speech in English. Please don't, do not hesitate to stop me if you require some additional information of clarification. So I've got to talk about using Web 2.0 and social networking to share medical knowledge. Maybe it will seem a bit separate of the previous uh, speeches, but you will see rapidly that uh, we join our concepts here. Let me see. So let's start. What is Web 2.0 and what is not Web 2.0? <clears throat> Web 2.0 is really a concept that represents the evolution from traditional, uh, traditional software applications based on maybe on your local PC or on web to the modern web applications that are focused on the end user. I will explain this better. Previous applications like uh, the web pages are usually uh, published by a company, by an organization that is advertising something, that is publishing some content, and all the audience just can review this content. Uh, this is based on technology web. Nowadays, everything has changed in a very, very important way towards the attitude of the users. What I mean is that you are not just reviewing a content published by a company, but you are uploading your own content, you are sharing your content with other users. You are giving opinion, you are giving feedback, you are sharing and exchanging information. Technology versus attitude, the attitude to share. So, in Web 2.0, we are not talking about any specific technology. We are talking about the concept of the user as a producer. That's Web 2.0. It's not technology. It's a concept. So, the user as a producer of what? Of course, content. But what is content? Content can be almost everything, right? Content can be knowledge uh, shared through the Wikipedia, for example can be also my own reflections, my own thoughts and ideas post in, in a WordPress blog, in a, in a blogspot blog, uh, blog. Can be my pictures, like Flickr. Can be my videos, like I post in YouTube. This would be general content. But we are going farther beyond that nowadays. We are also promoting contacts, personal contacts, professional contacts, like we do in Facebook, like we do in LinkedIn, like we do in MySpace, I'm promoting my own band, etc. etc. What else can we share through the web, web 2.0? We can share test, taste and emotion. You can be listening to the music that I suggest. If we are friends, your music in your own uh, channel can be influenced by my own decisions and the decisions of your friends, right? Also, the bookmarks that you are using to, to surf through the internet can be influenced and can be suggested by your friends or by your social community. And we can also share reputation and feedback. For example, Trip, Trip Advisor, I can recommend you what to do or which places to visit. I can recommend you what to buy or not to buy, etc. And lately, and this is something that has surprised me a lot, I can share my status, Twitter. I can say, 
what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and everyone can know this, can knows, can know this. So, there's a lot of potential here, of course, in terms of sharing knowledge. Uh, well, this this picture is it's a fake, but it's illustrating a bit the concept that I'm trying to 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 present here. That people we are social, and we are using all these technologies, all these applications, and all these capabilities of modern technology to share, to share, and to become more social, right? So, Web 2.0 is user-centered, not technology-centered. Is utility-centered, not functionality. What I mean? I mean that some of really, really uh, successful technologies over the Web 2.0, like MySpace, are really poor in terms of functionality, but has become very, very popular because they are, they are approaching a very specific need. When you want to share one specific knowledge in one specific field, you will use one specific tool and it will become really popular in a short period of time. So data, data nowadays without distribution and without sharing worth nothing. So the data that I've got in my own, in my own PC but I cannot share with others worth nothing. And all this technology is focused on agility, not in reaction. What I mean is that I'm not a company that I'm promoting at my website and I'm waiting you to, to check and review, but I am promoting some reaction, always trying to get some feedback. I am uh, uh, posting a blog and I want to the feedback of the users, all this. Of course, this means that we are always under improvement. We are always learning, we are always developing new applications, we are always getting new feedback from other users. So Web 2.0, we can say that it's always in beta version, right? So the engine of all this is not the customer anymore, it's not the buyer, it's not the business, it's just the user satisfaction. If you can upload feed, uh, sorry, content that is useful to anyone, then it will become popular. If you are just promoting one business, maybe you will not, right? So I have chosen, <laughs> I have chosen this picture of Al-Qaeda that says, because life is random, because it, it illustrates for me all this user-centered concept and because it started as a joke between two people and this picture becomes, became really, really popular through the internet in a very, very short period of time. So this technology is not under the control of a single person of a sing or a single uh, organization, right? Who is using Web.0? First, the content providers, someone that is uploading some content, right? I am uploading one video to YouTube, for example. Then we got the feedback providers, all the people that is reviewing my content and is giving an opinion or a comment or rating it. Then we got people that, that likes this content and are using to exchange with other people or, or adding some additional knowledge to this content and sharing again. So they are becoming both users and, uh, I mean, users and providers of, the, of this Web.0 content. And finally, all the internet users that are just reviewing the content with no further interaction with it. <laughs> 